From severe storms to scorching deadly heat, in these first few weeks of summer, Mother Nature has been unforgiving. This holiday weekend is no exception. In Chicago, Grant Park's NASCAR street race came to an unexpected halt when record rainfall forced a more than hour long delay. The amount of rain is just so severe. Uh, the visibility would be near impossible and the standing water would be uh, impossible to race in. In upstate New York, a massive downpour flooded campgrounds and forced families to evacuate their homes. While in St. Louis, the storms turned deadly, uprooting a tree and killing a woman in her car. And in Gadsden, Alabama, winds topped 65 miles per hour, knocking down trees, power lines, and the canopy of this shaved ice business. Elsewhere, it's the heat that's taking a toll. The National Weather Service in Sacramento summed up the triple digit highs with a single word, hot. I do not like the heat. I do not like this heat. In Arizona, nine counties are under an excessive heat warning through the 4th, with Tucson and Phoenix expected to reach record setting highs. The heat and dry conditions are forcing some cities to spark a new tradition. Parts of Colorado, Utah and New Mexico are opting for a fourth without fireworks. Instead, drone flights. It's going to be put to patriotic music. It all comes as a soaring number of travelers hit the skies. On Friday, the TSA screened nearly 2.9 million passengers, the highest number ever in a single day. But for passengers on the nearly 25,000 delayed domestic flights over the weekend, it's been a turbulent ride. At airport after airport, stranded luggage tells the frustrating story. Now we just got to Houston and they can't find a captain for our flight. Like, I cannot do this anymore. From busy skies to hectic highways, more than 43 million Americans are expected to hit the road ahead of the 4th.